What's up guys, I'm Puneet from Programmers and welcome back to this series on JavaScript. In this video, we will learn about the ways to loop over a list of items and also how to loop over an object. We will talk about the for off loop and the for in loop, so let's get started. The for off loop was introduced in the ES6 version of JavaScript. It allows us to iterate over iterable objects such as arrays, strings, sets, etc. Let's first look at the syntax of the for off loop. The for off loop starts with a for and a parenthesis. Inside the parenthesis, iterable is the iterable or array or string or whatever we want to iterate through. An element is a variable that will store the current item that we are dealing with in those iterable. For example, suppose we have an array of numbers. So I'll create an array, say const numbers equals 1, 3, 5, and 7. Now in our for off loop, the iterable will be numbers. And the element, I can keep it as element, but I'll need to add a const here because element has not been declared before. Now in each iteration of the for off loop, element will contain the current item. So it will start from 1 and 3 and 5 and so on. Let's see this in action. So I'll remove this and let me print the current value of element to verify that at it indeed contains the item 1, 3, 5 and 7. So let me press run and you can see that element did contain 1 in the first iteration, 3 in the second iteration and so on. Let's see one more example to drive home this point. Suppose we have an array that contains the names of family members and we want to access those names. However, while accessing those names, we also want to add the surnames to each of those names. In this case, we can use the for off loop to access each of the names and inside the loop, we can join the surname and print the final name. Let's see a working example. Let me remove this old code first and let's create an array of names. So I can say const members equals John, Sarah and Jack. Now I'll create a for off loop to iterate over those names. So I'll say for const name of members. And you can see that this almost reads like English now. So inside the loop, I'll add the surname Smith to each of those names and print the full name. I'll also need to add a space between the first name and the last name. So I'll say let full name equals name, which will contain John, Sarah and Jack respectively and plus and a space and the last name which is Smith and let me console log full name to just make sure that this works as intended. Now when I press run, you can see that I was able to add Smith to each of these names respectively. We can also use the for off loop with strings. With strings, the for off loop will iterate over each character of the string. So let's see an example. I'll create a string. First, let me get rid of this old code. Let me create a string called name equals program is. And now let's see what happens when I use the for off loop on it. So let i of name. And let's see when I console log i, what happens. You can see that the value of i was p in the first iteration, r in the second iteration, o in the third iteration, and so on. That means the for off loop when used with a string gives me each character one by one. If you're enjoying this video, please also check out Program is Pro, where we provide tutorials along with quizzes and challenges, which will help you practice and test your learning in real time. Also, the course includes projects to give you an awesome experience of how programming works in the real world. And for our YouTube subscribers, we are giving 50% off on the yearly plan. Sign up by scanning this QR code or use the link in the video description to claim your discount. The for in loop is used to iterate through the element of an object. Before we learn about for in, let's first revise the concept of an object. In JavaScript, we use objects to store multiple data together. For example, if you want to store information about a student, you can use an object like this. So I'll go back to my code editor and say const student equals and you can see I've used curly braces and inside here I can say name colon Monica grade 7 and age 
12. Data is stored in an object in key value pairs. Here, name, grade, and age are the keys, and Monica 7 and 12 are their corresponding values. Let me quickly print this object and show you the output. So I'll say console.log student and press run. And you can see that I got the object as output. Now that we know about objects again, let's start with the syntax of the for in loop. The for in loop starts with the for keyword followed by parenthesis. Inside the parenthesis, object represents the JavaScript object that we want to iterate through or we want to get the keys of. And key represents each key of the object one by one. Let's see an example. Here we have an object from our earlier code. Now I'll use the for in loop to iterate over the elements of this object. So instead of object, I will have student and let me do const because key has not been declared before. Now in each iteration of the loop, the variable key will specify the key of the student object. So the first iteration, the key will be name. For the second, it will be grade. And for the third, it will be age. Let's verify that. I'll say console log key. And when I press run, you can see that I got name, grade, and age, which were the three keys here. Now that we have successfully accessed all the keys of the object, we can also get the individual values. Let me modify this code. I'll first access each value using the key and then print key and value using the template string. So let me remove this and say const value equals student key. And I can say console.log. For template string, I'll use backtick and then dollar key because I want to print the key variable. And let me print a fancy sign like this. And let me say dollar value inside curly braces. Now, when I press run, you must have guessed the output by now. I get the keys and the values respectively. Now, the student key is the magic here because key contains name. So student name becomes Monica in the first iteration. Similarly, in the second iteration, key contains grade. So student grade becomes seven. And in the last iteration, because key is age, so student, and inside the square brackets, we have age, so student age gives me 12. Okay guys, we need your support to keep these kinds of content free for all users. YouTube really likes engagement on the video, so leave a comment below, press that like button, and hit subscribe if you haven't already. Let's get the engagement score high up so that more people can discover and enjoy these courses. We can also change the values of an object using the for in loop. Let me give you a quick example. Suppose we have an object of employees that contains the name of employees as keys and their corresponding salaries as values. Now let's assume that the employees are doing a great job and the employer wants to provide a bonus of 5000 to each of these employees. In this case, we can use the for in loop to access the salary of each employee, add the bonus to it and print it. Let's do exactly that. So I'll start a for in loop like before. Uh, like this employee and now let me get the salary first so let salary equals employee i the same pattern we had used last time and let me add 5000 to it now let me test my code so i'll say console log let me again use template literals like before so dollar i will contain the name Similarly, the salary will be stored in the salary variable, the new one. And this should do it. Here, I will represent each of the names, which will be Jack, Paul, and Monica, which are the keys of this object. And employee I will give me the values, which are 24,000, 34,000, and 55,000. In each iteration, I, will, I am adding 5,000 to the salary and then printing the new salary. Let me run this code and see what happens. You can see that 24,000 become 29,000 and so on. Now to practice what we've learned, here's a programming task for you. Create an array named names with values Jack, Rosie, and Mira. Now use a for off loop to print each name of the array. However, while printing the name, change the first character to uppercase. To change the first character to uppercase, let me give you a little hint. So you can use the caret method with zero as a parameter to get the first character and you can convert it to uppercase using two uppercase method. Now 
you can use the slice method of the array to get the rest of the characters except the first character so you can use something like slice one and then you can join the rest of the characters to the first character to get the new name and then obviously you can print it using console log you'll find the correct answer to this question in our github repository also if you want to revise these concepts you can find all these programs there as well i'll put the link in the video description below now that we have reached the end of this video it's time for the programming quiz what is the output of the program you can see the options on the screen. Comment your answer below. And if you want to revise this lesson, you can find all the programs in our GitHub repository as well. I'll put the link in the video description below. Happy programming, and I'll see you in the next one.